The following video is rated PG for puzzling gameplay. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello everybody, welcome back to the Tetris Attack Speedrun Tournament 2022. We got another banger match coming up for you now. One of our uh, tournament veterans here, three-time winner of LPS tournaments, Cards of the Heart, going up against GamerX459, third seed versus 14th seed, a little bit of a separation, but I think we got some really good things to look forward to here. Uh, I am joined by Six and Tay Man. How are you both doing? Uh, not too bad. Great here. Time to see gamers rise up. Yeah, six and once again. Place. Scoping out some of his pool mates right now. Always good to see. And uh, we, we've had some great matches so far. Again, another one that's great to come here. Uh, we're going to get into the details very shortly. But before that, let's give you a little tutorial video by Cards of the Heart himself explaining a little bit more about this game and how it works. Tetris Attack is a match 3 puzzle game released for the Super Nintendo in August 1996 for North America and November 1996 for Europe. It was also broadcast on the Japanese Teleview service from November 1996 until the service was discontinued in June 2000. As a match 3 puzzle game, if you match at least 3 of the same panel either horizontally or vertically, the panels will disappear. To win, however, you will need to do more than simply match 3 at a time. You need to make combos and chains to not only prevent your gradually rising stack from reaching the top of your playfield for a time, but also send garbage to your opponent to make their stack reach the top of their playfield. You make combos by matching more than three panels in a row at the same time. They don't keep your stack from rising for very long, but they do send small garbage blocks to your opponent that can quickly add up if stacked correctly. You make chains by linking sets of three or more matches together. Make a set of panels disappear and then have the panels directly above them fall into another match. Not only does this keep your stack from rising for a longer period of time, but it will also make thicker garbage blocks that will be more effective at actually filling out your opponent's stack to the top. If your stack reaches the top of your playfield and the game tries to break the stack through the top, you lose, so you want to avoid this at all costs and force it on your opponent as much as possible. To beat these computer opponents, you'll have to either make sure that they run out of time while their stack is completely topped off, send so much garbage to your opponents that they can no longer make a move, or send garbage to your opponent in such a way so that they think they can no longer make a move. That said, due to the way this game handles combo garbage as well as the overall speed of these opponents, you will almost exclusively see our players make them run out of time through timely garbage attacks. Easy mode has 10 stages, normal mode has 11 stages, and hard and v-hard, as we call it, have 12. In this tournament, players will be racing through those stages to get to the end as fast as they can. The first player to defeat the final opponent wins the race. The first player to win a predetermined number of races wins the match. Best of luck to all of our players. Alrighty, we are still very early into our tournament, still seeing some players who have not raced yet, so we are in pool stage. We're going to be seeing everything in this game done on the one player versus mode. And uh, all of our players, we have 20 in total, have been separated into four pools, five people in each pool. And you're going to play every person once in your pool, being a best of five. And as you can see, we're going to be going through all the levels. You have the choice of which one you want to play at the beginning here. It is agreed upon by both players. After the first game concludes, the loser of that game will get to counter pick to a level that has not been picked. And that will continue onward and onward till all levels have been played. And then on game five, if a winner still has not been determined, 
the previous loser will get to pick the very last level, which could be a duplicate of any of those four levels. Uh, we're going to be seeing matches once per week for every player. We have odd-numbered players, so each player is getting a buy. For example, Six uh, has his buy this week, and that's why he is scoping out some of the competition. Uh, we. <laughs> We're going to have some pre-recorded matches, but for the most part, we're going to try to bring a lot of them to you live, like uh, this one's happening currently. And at the end of all this, the two players with the best records at the end of their group stage will be moving on to a final bracket of eight people. Uh, we yeah, have a... This oh, isn't ahead, the NBA. Dude. Let's say this isn't the NBA here. Only eight out of 20 people are moving on. So the, the, the playoffs mean something here. That's, true, what, that's what we pride ourselves on. Tay coming in hot with the sports references already. You got to love it. <laughs> unfortunately, or I mean, I shouldn't say unfortunately, like uh, sports, we got a little bit of a prize pool here. Maybe not in the millions of dollars, but <laughs> yeah. a, good, uh, a good couple 200 for the winner here. Much better than what we've seen previous for this for games of this series so i'm very excited we see here donations twitch bits subscriptions and a lot of things will contribute to this prize pool first place getting 40 percent second place getting 20 you can see all those placements all of top eight will be getting paid out redemption bracket winner also getting paid out and then we're going to give two percent off to a random player that did not win a prize in this bracket so everyone kind of getting a little bit of a reward here if you did play well or you kind of just get lucky so Head on over to that link at the bottom if you want to send a tip that way, or like we said before, Twitch bits and subscriptions are welcome. Uh, with that said, I'm going to be dipping out a little bit here. I'm going to give it to Six and Tayman to take it away to tell you about this matchup we're going to be seeing here. All right, awesome. Yeah, we are in a uh, full three here at this match of um, cards against gamer. And uh, cards, you know, for uh, anyone who's new to the community, cards uh, is a bit of a legend. Um, not only like putting up, um, ho holding like re world records uh, in the past, but um, also has put together the, the wonderful layout for this tournaments or for these tournaments, and has uh, run the tournaments mostly by himself. So. It's a huge pillar of the community, and going up against uh, Gamer X four five nine, who uh, joined the community within the the last year or so, and has started putting up some uh, pretty solid times. So, uh, um, as we uh, go over to the, the the tail of the tape here, um, yes, like six. I know uh, we 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 both probably think that Card is the favorite here, but uh, what have you seen? Um, really quick, just looking at what have you seen from Gamer uh, since he's come onto the scene? Uh, he, I remember him joining the last PPL, and he definitely had the potential to have some hot stages. It's just that when things went wrong, they seemed to go really wrong. And I'm very curious to see how much that's been uh, possibly patched up with extra practice in this game, because... Anyone, someone consistent that can get within the margin of troll has the opportunity to bop cards, and I keep pressing for the ultimate situation where cards gets bopped all the way into redemption. It's The chances are still low of that happening, but I do believe it is possible if we all unlock our inner gamer. Well, we're living through uh, some some history right now, so to speak. So I, I don't know if we want to live put live through that history as well. It, would, it might send shockwaves uh, through through the multiverse. So, uh, but I, I think uh, gamer is discovering, um, and a lot of people that run this game that uh, they discover how important uh, salt management is. Um, just maintaining your your nerves and your emotions as you deal with the inevitable trolling that comes with this game. But uh, he was. Very close, I believe, to moving on to uh, main bracket in the PPL 2021 tournament. Actually, took uh, uh, took Tetris Attacker, one of our um, top players, to uh, a, a game six because actually one of the games literally tied. <laughs> so, and uh, he was pretty bent out of shape about that. But hopefully, you know, good to see him bounce back, and hopefully, he's in better spirits 
um, for this tournament. We see like all those times are qualifying times um, and just leaderboard times overall, like solidly mid tier, and you know with enough bad luck um, on cards aside, there there could be a bop. Although it's probably going to be pretty unlikely. And then we see cards times over there. Um, he he used to be, um, I believe, world record in all the categories before Yoshi came along. But look at all of those, like number two in every category, and uh, no nothing worse than fourth in qualifiers. So like cards has just been around the scene for a long time. Really consistent, has really good board vision, doesn't drop his chains very often. So. Yeah, any, any final thoughts, Six, before we move on to um, the match? It's going to be interesting to see each of these guys play out their drafts in, in their own ways. Like, Cards is a little, a little bit slower than the fastest APM players, but has, like, great tech and recognition to make up for it. And Gamer is pretty fast, but, like, sometimes can stumble around trying to find something, but yeah, I, I think it'll be very interesting to see those clash. Yeah, I think we see a lot of newer players. They they tend to um, imitate a card of style more than say like FFRs or Yoshi's, mostly because it's it's impossible to imitate <laughs> all like that that elite cursor speed. But that board vision is something you can imitate. So I think we we see his play style um, has been very influential. So. uh yeah, without uh, any further ado, let's get on to this uh, group, uh, this group three matchup. We have uh, Cards of the Heart versus Gamer coming at you right now. Okay. What uh, what difficulty are we? Looks like we're starting off on easy here. Yes, they did. And for anyone unfamiliar, easy mode um, is the, the slowest mode as you might expect, running at speed level 2. Speed level goes from 1 to 10 in this game, so 2 can be... Um, if you're used to playing at faster speeds, 2 can be a little hard to manage because you'll actually want to play a little faster than the game will actually allow you, so... Uh, I, I, in my experience, at least, easy mode is really just learning about getting into the flow of, of the, the block and the cursor speed. If you're used to slamming, like, swaps in, you're going to accidentally double swap a lot just because everything is just that tiny bit slower. So beware of that. I think we are in. We see cards going for... Ooh, he changes my last second there. Um... Keeping that that chain going, he's gonna bring it out to an X six because um, did not. Um, well, Lakitu is gonna get the clear right away. I don't think he got the combos that he wanted. Um, typically, you're gonna want to go for seven lines as fast as you can on normal mode, and we we've seen that the the the, the favored players will want to extend their chains a little further. Play a little more conservatively. No, really, no need to uh, to do that. Those PV straps when like your your baseline play will uh, will give you a good, good, pretty good chance of winning. Both players, yeah, needed to follow up attack on the Lakadu, so not blazing starts for either of them. But I think now Cards has found his footing to get in a five chain with a bunch of extra combos. Oh, that and Bumpy can't respond in time. Second stage in a row, though, the gamer needs a follow-up attack. It's just... it takes so long to send the extra attack in easy mode. Yeah, and I, the, the reason that we see normal mode times sometimes being faster than uh, easy mode times, despite normal having a, a one more stage, is that, like, you can get... like, it's, it's very hard to go faster than 15 seconds in easy mode just to, due to how slow it is but normal mode you can defeat the, the the opponents you know maybe a couple seconds faster on average oh and that poochie what are you doing getting the the chain off the the garbage there and that can waste like three to four seconds you can he gets a 29 here 
Um, the gamer might falling up with a 25. It took him like 15 seconds to find a chain. I thought I was going to go for all combos for a second, but eventually found a good attack on him. But that little bit of separation might be all cards needs for something like this. Now he's at full power. Look at this. Oh, holy cow, man. Oh, but he did... Uh, okay. Oh, actually, that might have been really smart. I don't know if he did that eh, on purpose. It only clears the big block because the other ones didn't... They don't quite fall at the same time. So... Oh, that's a really inconvenient oh chain my clear, God. though. Oh, and Gamer's getting chained on, too. Both players getting incidental chain drop stop time clears. But Gamer a little bit faster and actually kind of... Evens this out. Card's probably unhappy, but also probably not tilted. Just going to try it again on the next stage. Yeah, cards didn't really, really make any mistakes there. And uh, sometimes you trust the process, and the, the process just doesn't love you back. Well, Gamer just barely split in a block at the wrong time. But, oh, got okay. a follow-up attack. That was enough to kill a somewhat high frog, so... Not a lot of separation here either, and we're already halfway through the easy. Yeah, it's taken some pretty bad luck on cards aside uh, for Gamer to keep pace, so if, if he wants to uh, make this interesting, he's uh, gonna have to put in some more consistent attacks. And okay, that looks. Uh... Oh, he, he found a ton little. of combos in there, so he dropped it at the times three, which I think was appropriate. Gamer got a bunch of four combos in his attack, and I think he's going to be out after... Okay, you're done with the... yeah. The 25, on a little bit behind, and honestly, just... It's so important in easy mode to top off the opponent in a single attack. Because, it, you know, clears... They, they waste so much time, and sometimes uh, you can't avoid them, but you don't want to give them any more time than... Oh, look at that beautiful attack. You don't want to give them any more time... Then, uh... I just found eight lines in about eight seconds. And that's a beautiful fish. Thirteen seconds on that fish is a... Card, uh... Only three more stages left to go in easy What was mode. that eleven combo fish? You, you're not at the difficulty to do that. Damn, I tell you. Sometimes the game will just give it to them. Slowly rising stack kill? Okay. Mm, that's just a little bit of the skill oh, difference. No. It's like five stages out of seven that <laughs> wasn't oh able to top God. them off in one. Card is just getting some of the, the worst luck that we've seen so far, but still about a, a half stage ahead of of gamer and like yeah this is why like th like this is basically what has to happen if for someone to to keep pace is like if if gamer would have been applying at say like a pb pace for him he would probably be keeping keeping pace with cards like so so basically the 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 favored players like they need to get really bad luck and then the kind of like the, the challengers they need to be on pb pace <laughs> it's just uh not a not, not, not a good bet. This looks like a clean hook bill. All right, some, a lot of just single three pops, but at least he didn't get to the big block. Or... This is ninety something oh. percent a lock for cards, unless something goes very interesting here. Uh, oh, oh! Yeah. And now it's a hundred percent. And now uh, he's gonna die like right as soon as this falls. Of course, <laughs> uh, of course. Oh, look at look at that swag from cards. Oh my goodness. Yep, five chain for four lines. Combos for at least six more lines. Plant is not going to be able to get Plant. to the left side. And there we it go. wasn't pretty, but it got the job done.
yeah, cards having to deal with multiple clears and multiple chains off the garbage, and still gets a a, a very respectable uh, time in the 640 range. Um, I don't think like made any obvious mistakes there. Just have some really bad luck with the AI arrangement. Is a uh, is is a uh, plant gonna be crushed here? Has he sent enough? Yes, he has. Yay! Welcome back to the 2022 Tetris Attack Tournament. We are back after a, a tragedy struck in the state of Ohio. Uh, you know the Rod tech always works perfectly 100% of the time? Yeah, don't these ISPs, like, know that it's... You gotta, like, quadruple back up the internet, so... The Tetris Attack tournament like won't go offline. Come on, ISPs. But yes, we had uh, just finished the uh, the first race between Card to the Heart and Gamer. They are moving on to V Hard, getting that cursor speed whiplash going from speed two to speed six, and uh, we are. It's gonna let them know if someone hasn't already that they are good to go. All right, our our uh, restreamer Forky is giving them the all clear, so we'll just wait for them to count down, and then we will be off with the variants. All right, Vihar, probably the way to go for. Probably way to go for gamer. For the for one of the better shots at taking a game off cards, the easy was actually may have had the RNG, but just a little bit of a skill difference was still enough to get there. But I in V hard caves, I have seen opponents that I have topped off for a minute, two minutes. They were under threat the whole time, and they just refused to die. So, whenever that can happen, given the chance. Okay, we are both red, so this is a valid, V-hard, starty. Yeah, another thing about V-hard is that um, you're not you not punished as much for being short, I'd say. In fact, sometimes you can even get better times by, by being short if the AI just happens to be really up top. Card's getting a, a good follow-up there. Uh, Gamer's gonna exactly. need a little bit more. Um, if, if he drops this, it should be good. Okay, I, I guess you had time to get up there. Really? And that is okay. going to fall into are a two chain, you, right? You three me? Pin, and up then into a clear. A clear. <laughs> oh, that is just not the. Okay, that's enough. Well. Oh, lack of two. The okay, very hit, but for the wrong person. Low Bumpty and card decide to be sending in a follow up combos to get there right now. Oh, Bumpty and... messed up the heart match. <laughs> the... That's going to be. Drop it. Yeah, oh. there we go. That works. What are you gonna do when Bumpty just goes down to the second line like that? Look at this attack by a uh, by gamer here. He's gonna go out to X seven. You know, maybe maybe uh wanting to do a little overkill after <laughs> that uh after that first stage. Um, I mean, it seems appropriate. Nine seconds faster than cards on that stage. Yeah, make it up some time there. That's gonna be. Oh, he was just one line short on on Poochie. Unfortunate unfortunately. horizontal. No shake time on this drop. Probably a death right there. Okay. Oh, and like, look, like gamer is a uh, is really zooming right now. Isn't. Not enough combos after the okay. chain ends, but it's gonna do a quick follow up attack here. He still has okay. left and right pillars he's dealing with. Okay, this. Oh, okay, come on. Oh no, that might buy time. Okay, that's we still got the pillars, and that's gonna be it for uh, a solid twenty-two on Pucci. Cards 
are juggling two different chains on different halves of the board. Ah, then Wiggler bounced not rewarded. Everything. Okay, this should be good here. That's gonna be 23. Why is this everyone in this tournament so scary? Like, look at... Look at this attack by Gamer. Holy... Was that frame well, perfect? Pretty clean, and fortunate that Wiggler didn't de-pillar there at all to make up a bit more time. Cards leading off with a 9 that goes into two more oh. chains. Oh, he, that was a, a good save by him. Putting it off at the times 5 because Frog is still halfway up the board. Oh my, Froggy does this all the time. Down he's, he's, one chain. Yep, and that's gonna be good. Alright. Why the, the follow-up is so important. Okay, he's got a X4 here. Oh, X5, alright, that should be... Okay, Froggy, if you're gonna... if you can be done now, please. This Frog stops chaining, he's gonna... croak on that stage. Cards again doing two different chains on different halves of the board. Pretty high Blarg. Finding uh, horizontal chain into a clear to buy time. This AI is really trying its best to rubber band here. Oh, it almost... Oh, but he's gonna have the horizontal, okay. Gamer's Crazy blog garbage in the air. Way down. Okay. Oh man, that was Oof. that was Gamer's chance to pull even, but hopefully here. There's not that much shake time here because the right pillar that actually is just a little bit of a makeup again. Yeah, making up about ten seconds there and, and keeping pace, and I think we see that uh, Gamer is a lot more comfortable with um with this speed here. He's able to play to his full potential. Unfortunately drops that, but look at this look at this like strong recovery here. Now I don't know if it's Ooh. gonna be enough, because one fish is way down there. Holy cow. He's gonna he's gonna raise up and get some more ammo. Both fishes went extremely low, but cards did the combos to get them there anyway. Gamer's doing it now. There's no immediate matchup above. Another Ooh. combo means fish is crushed as well. Card is gonna. Cards mean to do that seven combo right? I guess there's enough follow up if it wasn't another row three V hard AI opponent. This is a lot of trolls they're throwing at him. Gamer getting a little uh, little setback there, but he's gonna keep this going. Only That's goes good to... Oh, no. Uh, no, that needs like three more lines. He's gonna... and Raven sent him three lines, so that's gonna throw a wrench into his uh, follow-up attack here. Uh, he needs to... Oh, Card is... Card is getting Card. major trolled here! He's been doing panic combos for like the past 20 seconds that Raven just keeps brushing off. Raven is playing like we see the oh, shot block it? coming in. Oh my gosh! And this is like no one is. I need to click. Okay, it's can just this guy just end. stop? <laughs> Every time, like the garbage clears, it feels like the the Raven on both sides. And oh no, Ra Oh my god! And gamer gamer doesn't have Raven top up. Look at all this garbage that Raven is sending. Okay, none of it is falling into a clear oh though. Oh my god! And just. Oh, oh my god. Uh, there's some of the most bird brain eyes we've seen. Gamer causes his way back and enters the cave first. Jesus. Oh my gosh, if he would have. What are. Raven! Hold. Okay! Uh. That happened. Uh. On to the cave, I guess. Or just. No, I'm just I not going to acknowledge that and just see how this plays out. I need to go... go vomit. Oh, is this going to be good? Very change from Gamer. Uh, Sending too much can hurt you sometimes, it gives AI extra stop time. Yeah, but has no stop time, this is not going to change, so his okay. people should perish right after that. And... Card sent a quick attack at first, it's not going to work because he downstacked, but he sent enough follow-up combos to... No! Oh my god. Have a convenient match right there. Okay, this should... 
We go Okay. Yep. Okay, the Varius is breaking Gamer's way, but he still needs good execution on these final stages, because if you don't top him off in one, you're gonna get mega punished. Oh, and that's a... Okay, I would... I would probably drop that there. It's exchange good enough for the plants pretty high up. Uh, there's shake time for at least one clear. Hard is starting his attack with... Oh, there's gonna be a chain there. Start combos. Cuts it off at the times four. Plant left pillar. But it's gonna have plenty of time down stack up because it's getting into a six chain, a seven chain. Oh, but Piranha running out of time. Okay, and then this should Our be a crush. Plant down stacking should be a crush. At... Oh, Plant was able to raise one, but just barely didn't get there in time. Oh my. Two stages to go, still quite even. Gonna come down to uh, the final two trolls here. Oh, no, that's not. He needs to find a new opening. He does find it a little bit. But oh, meanwhile, Kamek seven chains. Oh, I thought it's not a lot oh! of shake time. What? I thought he was gonna. I thought Kamek was gonna run out of time there. But it's maybe here. It's not a lot of shake time because of low blocks. Okay, oh. but. Getting bailed out a little bit, that was a, a bit of a weak attack, and I think... Artist combos come down, but Kamek has a horizontal clear. Oh, and then He's Kamek just gonna drop into a 3-chain to buy more time while Gamer enters Bowser. <laughs> it still has to be a solid open. Yeah, Bowser is probably like one of the, the most punishing stages. Okay, 4-chain, 5-chain... Blocks into a- oh, misses the 6th chain, but maybe that's gonna be fine? No, Bowser's going to the 4th row, so very quickly, finding extra combos to oh, burn in there. He, has he sent enough to- He's crushed? To him? Yo! That's a, that's a GG's for Gamer. <laughs> Unleash your inner Gamer. Finishing with a 927, like, which is a- you know, sub-10 V-Hard's always solid, and, you know, we see a- uh, that's basically what it takes to uh, to take down one of these top tier players, is that you gotta have a solid run and then hope that your opponent either just chokes entirely or just has like some pretty bad RNG. And I I think we can both agree that Cards has had some of like the worst AI RNG in, in recent memory. This has, yeah, this has been pr pretty trolly AI on his part. Like, I agree with all, with all of the attacks, basically. Uh, this is why you... <laughs> this is the exact reason I say choose V-Hard against somebody that you th that you believe has the skill edge on you. This can happen. Unfortunately, in group stage... You're probably only going to get to play this once, and meanwhile Card is going to select something that will have significantly less variance. But if Gamer can take one of these next ones, that's going to make this really spicy. Yeah, Cards is going to stay on the same speed level, and uh, we, we like to say that Hard Mode is like a fair version of V-Hard, and so he he definitely has the edge here uh, to go up 2-1, but Gamer has been putting up some pretty solid attacks, and it also looks like he's more comfortable with the, the speed 6 of Hard and V-Hard, so uh, we'll, we'll see what happens here. Mm -hmm. I can acknowledge that what happened in the last game has somewhat of a fair chance of happening, but if he can also take it here, that that would also be Gamer making a statement. Yeah, cards in the race chat complaining that his his timing has been really bad, and I don't think we uh, I don't think he means um 
I don't know if he means like the actual chain timing or like garbage drop timing, which is really only something that very few players do, which is like trying to watch the the opponent and oh nice nice uh nice nine combo, but nothing to follow it up with. Um, but yeah, watching the opponent and dropping the the combo at an op optimal time, cards gets a, a thirteen. Chain, there. I would like game to say, getting game a twelve. Is yep, he's, he's oh. popping off. Solid opening attacks from both of them. Now do that eleven more times. Easy. I mean, just ask Yoshimitsu in the chat. Cards. I think we get off with the four chain because of two extra lines. Insta clear from Bumpty gonna cost like six seconds, but also a clear on gamer side, so that's gonna cost more than that. As this drops here. into a 21. death, sixteen to twenty-one. Yeah, there's. Multiple clears into chains falling to buy it more stop time can happen, but it's just a lot less likely, and it's more based on did you top off the opponent in one as efficiently as possible. Oh, look at that! Okay, Why yeah, this chain from gamer. Is that gonna be enough though? Okay, yeah, follow it combos. Is. Seventeen to twenty-five evened it out because cards Pucci did get there once. So pretty even Steven going into stage four. We see cards raising his stack to do his opening a little bit more than gamer, but still both of them are able to find like Does eight gamer... lines regardless. Oh, that's gonna lower the, the pillar clear, that's gonna lower it all the way down, and gamer's gonna have to send a, a follow-up here. I hopefully that should be good. Yeah, cards gets a solid quick kill. Gamer had to clear and had to send some extras. So now we have some separation. Oh, cards uh, misread the board there. and Might have entangled the purple blocks, although there's still going to be like six lines of combos falling, so it may be enough anyway, and it is. Uh, gamer. Let's... Gamer getting on. It has to reset his chain here. I think you notice, like, some players, um, they'll, like, they'll play really frantically, and if, if they have, um, clears in their, in the area of their cursor, they're really good at getting to them, but if they don't have something nearby, like, they can just, they don't know what to do, like, they're kind of going on that, that fast and, and frantic energy, and, like, it's a, a bit of a glass cannon playstyle, I think, and, like, one that I had for a long time. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's been a uh, punishing at times for for gamer, but other times has given him some really fast attacks. Mm -hmm. what, what are you doing, Blarg? It's like seeing the next attack, but not really having a plan of what to do after it. But more more experience, you you can like not get trapped like that, like not clearing a combo that's at the very top of the. Yield because you can't actually oh, chain off of it. There nice is ten. the quick kill. Seven. Giving us a thumbs up, letting us know that everything's all right over here. Thank you very much. Oh, the game. Oh. Fish and keeps game? buying time just with. Yeah, matching three and four at a time. Eventually dies anyway. But. I think, I think Gamer also could have had an 11 if. Uh... Fish didn't troll him, so he's about a half a stage behind. Card's getting another 11! Is a, Raven got a little greedy going for that 5. And... Okay. Alright, right place, right time. Now we're in the groove. Great game, by the way. It's Gamer. another segmented attack from Gamer. 
You have to drop this. This will do it, but there's the ice cream sandwich that tastes very bitter. I hate to see it, man. They, they've always got this, the block. That flavor of ice cream sandwich, always in stock at the grocery store. No one wants it. All the other flavors are sold out. I guess the attack he wants on Hookbill and is now basically up in up by a whole stage with three to go. Yeah, not nearly as much trolling goes on in the hard mode cave, so I think Card is in a pretty good spot right now. So maybe that attack uh, isn't uh, quite what he wanted, but this... That's a pretty high plant. Left and right pillars. I don't think it's yeah. fast enough to downstack yeah. in this <laughs> mode. Yeah. Oh, you love to see it. Those pillars. Just so beautiful. So beautiful. And Gamer had a, a pretty solid Koopa of his own, but um, he's going to have to pull out some really good times and hope for some major trolling on card to side to uh, <laughs> pick out another game here. Man, I might have actually gone for the 8 chain because Plant's going down to row 2. What? What are you supposed to do if... Oh my gosh. Oh, and Cards was a little short himself and... Oh my god, Plant, are you done? There's on both sides. Kamek can't get to that next match, and Card still maintains a one stage lead, and I may have seen like a one minute gentle Bowser. <laughs> Gonna require something a little bit worse for this to uh not go back into Card's hands. No gentle Bowser. That's that's not the opening. This is the opening. Five combo. Reaching with a seven combo. Not, well, not exactly. five lines. It's, it's a little bit of a follow up, but is finding an eight combo immediately. As Bowser still does oh. not clear the garbage above. Oh, Bowser is way low, but Gamer is a. Uh, Gamer's Bowser is. Or Gamer's is still Kamek. making combos. That's not going to chain. And Card says, who's the real Gamer now? Going up 2 1 in this match. We're all just gaming here. Got a little bit of trolling on card to side, but gets, gets the pretty solid uh, exact time there was 724 for cards. So yeah, Gamer was like maybe just, uh, you know, kept pace for much of the beginning. Um, this maybe had, had some dropped openings and didn't quite get the AI luck that he needed. A lot of uh, low stacks on his opponent's side. Um, that's going to put cards up on a match point. I like the Bowser attack. Boom. Good finish. Hmm. And we're finishing with the time of 8.15 card is going to pick up the second star there. And this means that uh, the only mode left is on normal mode, so card is going to try to close this up on normal mode, which runs at speed 4. I quite like as a, a Pokemon Puzzle League speedrunner, that's the, the speed that that game runs on. And this is, uh, Yeah, this is what I expected. Gamer has to prove the consistency to like, win on normal, and I don't know what cards might select if it goes to a game 5, but definitely two modes that are not V-hard, and proving your actual execution consistency. I think consistency is just where we... We see like some of the, the newer runners or, or mid-tier runners. It's, it's just it's so hard to you know not drop your chains. You have to react so quickly, especially in the harder difficulties. And like, yeah, if if you know you saw like gamers some of gamers openings and some of his lag chains and combos, and like that's basically what Card is doing all the time. 
not dropping the chains very often. It's just, it's so difficult. Mm -hmm. Can you do that all the time, and can you do that more times than he does? The pretty big demand, but let's see how he rises up to the challenge. That's a Five... good follow-up here, but... I've wow. handed the lack all the time into that clear. I think Card is going to get there. His lack just gave up on life. Perfect. 20 and 21 for Cards and Gamer. Both of them needing follow-ups, and... Honestly, it looks like Card has been short, uh... You know, maybe a little more often than we would have expected, and I don't know if that's been, like, a conscious strategy, or... Um, he's like not, um, maybe not feeling at the top of his game, but you know, even like when Card isn't at the top of his game, like he's still a really solid player. And, uh, ooh, this is looking pretty good for Gamer if Bumpty would. Some ah! extra stop time bought from that six combo, okay. but dies after 21 to 18. Yeah, I noticed that. It's. I would play a lot more safer overkill against somebody that I believe I is less consistent. That's probably the safer route overall. Cards only... It's only sending a 3 there, and it... Yeah, I don't I don't know what it is. But, um, oh, that's gonna... That's looking I mean, good for Gamer. Mm -hmm. I mean, after that, if you just have combos, it has, like, no shake time. It has a good chance of eliminating them instantly, and... When it's lower speed, like normal, there's a much less chance of them down stacking like any lines at all. So I think that's more valid and like normal and easy. Four chain for cards with like four more combo lines. Gamer six chain with a couple more combo lines. Both of them get exactly what they want. Very slight gamer advantage, but we'll see if that holds. Gamer want to cut it off there? Well, he found the fifth chain. This is exactly enough lines if Frog doesn't down so. Oh, oh, but he finds it. Meanwhile, Frog. Card gets there in just one. Yeah, that's the separation. Advantage back in Cards' hands. Yeah, Frog had some mini pillars there, but unfortunately just a clear right in the middle of one of them. I was opening up finding the 5 chain <laughs> into a 3 and 4 chain, both with a 4. Wow. Okay, that's, that's gonna be pretty good. <laughs> yeah, that's another like 8 in 8. I don't know if Gamer has done enough here. Okay, this follow-up... Okay, you gotta That's drop going that. To be enough. We'll see. He Got might be able there. to get to the right. Nope. Oh yeah, card doing the upside down T, which is my one of my favorite four combos, to be honest. Oh, but uh, that should be the good. next row raises up, and Fish doesn't know what to do, so that's a nice thirteen. Yeah, we see gamers starting these chains out really quick, but like not always sure how to follow them up. And he's want to want to drop this before uh, fish down stacks. These drops are fine. Fish doesn't have a match up on top. But that means extra wiggle room for cards. Raven got to clear, but now he can afford it. No chains here, and Corvid nineteen. <laughs> We banned you for these jokes multiple times. Nice way to twist that fifth chain into an extra five combo. <laughs> going for the seventh chain because Raven is going very low. Oh, what? Ah. How? What? Okay. Okay, enough follow ups. Still good. 
Gamer about a half a stage behind and time's running out. Um, oh, that's a little bit of trolling, but... Right on the bottom, but there's no extra matches to put Bill up on the top, so he's gonna yeah. drop right there. Not gonna take much there, and like, honestly, I think um, Gamer's gonna have to bank on some on some Kamek trolling on Cards' side. Because, um... Our normal Cave can uh, troll a little bit. Oh, but that's not good, is he... Low hook bill oh, and mean. a dropped attack. The follow up is pretty dang good, but Hookbill's gonna get clear in there. Okay, it only gets the smaller block, so that's something. Ah, but there's a chain that's gonna fall, and that's gonna waste a few more seconds. Okay, car. Oh, uh... oh <laughs> almost. Oh man, Gamer really needed that clear on Cards' side, just a few frames short. Cards is moving on uh, to uh, the match stage. If he can uh, get this Kamek relatively cleanly. Alright, match point seems pretty certain. This is where he would go for, like, the 12-line super safe overkill. I'm opting for, what, six lines so far? Seven, eight... No. Oh. It's one clear, but he can afford it as Gamer takes down the plant. There's a chain here, but I don't think that's really gonna... Is that gonna give Kamek enough time? I don't... Unless he can get down to the... Nope. There, nope. there it is. Alright. That's gonna do it. Cards of the Heart takes match one. It got a bit interesting there, but Cards proving that his ability will still come out on top on these stages more than enough times to uh, still get what he needs. Man, there were opportunities. GG. Like, what if Gamer had been a little bit cleaner on those easy attacks? This could have been extra spicy. Honestly, just one or one or two, one or two solid stages behind uh, cards, and that just that that tends to be the difference sometimes. Like I don't think we often see the um, the top tier players like really entirely run away with a game. Like usually they they win by you know, maybe half a stage or a stage, and but it's just that consistency adds up over the course of the run, so uh, GG's to Cards, uh, picking up his first match point, and Gamer, you know, put up a pretty strong showing, you know, we saw uh, some some solid opening attacks, just a con consistency, that's, that's the hardest part, wasn't able to uh, keep up with Cards there, but was able to pull off a game with a, a pretty solid B-hard there so like being able to take a game off cards uh, always something to feel good about oh. so cards and lunar uh both have uh one win in group three uh gamer and karaoke both oh one and uh six is just lurking in the shadows uh docking out his his uh, next victim the spookiest thing is that those times Gamer has set are definitely within my own margin of troll, so... Yeah, th this group is uh, definitely one of the groups of death. Honestly, like nowadays every group is a group of death, but you got Lunar, Gamer, and yourself six are all solid contenders for the, the, the number two seed out of this pool. And, uh, but you know, it, it, it could happen that... Uh, you know, Lunar, you and Lunar bop cards, potentially. Maybe you could uh, make some sort of uh, anime fusion. There's still a lot of possibilities here. I know cards branded this gr the group of death, and it's just going to take a while to find out who, who are the deaths. <laughs> yeah, and car cards, even though he, he fumbled a little bit today, like, it just, <laughs> it didn't matter. Like, he's so, he's so good at, at following up on his attack, so he he has a, a, a good amount of margin to, to still win. So I know you and Lunar are going to be putting in some uh, some grinding um, ahead of your match against cards, and yeah, you guys, you guys have a chance. 
against him, but... For sure. Anybody that's watching want to join in tonight? I <laughs> emote. Uh, that that'd be fun. I'm. Not. But uh, but yeah, we have a uh, for those watching live on Twitch, uh, stick around because we're gonna have uh, another pretty exciting matchup. Uh, just a few minutes. Uh, it's gonna be. Uh, I believe it's FFR Pro versus Nicole. As a, uh, apologies, we don't have the, the right schedule. There we go. Yeah. Uh, so we got FFR Pro versus Nicole coming up. Two, uh, two of the. I'm trying to think of like a nicer word than than ancestors because that's that's a little too old, older than what I'm thinking of. But two of the two of the OG, two the of the ancients. Uh, <laughs> the, the ancients, FFR Pro, <laughs> and uh, I like being smart. They're going to be uh, throwing down in just a few minutes if you're watching live on Twitch. Um, for those of you watching on YouTube, uh, that's going to do it for today. Uh, please, uh, if, if you're interested in these games or like watching the games, uh, feel free to uh, hop into our Discord or follow our YouTube channel. So uh, you got any uh, final thoughts before we cut off six? This is these challenges are getting more intense every every puzzle season, and I'm going to love getting fingers wet and getting in there myself starting next week and seeing how this all plays out. Yeah, every single pool every year seems like it just gets tougher and tougher. So, yeah, that's gonna do it uh, for uh, for restreamer BB Forky uh, for six. This is uh, Tayman saying thanks for watching, everyone.